on your radio, online and on the ABC Listen app. This is ABC North Queensland. Well, I hope my next guests have very good shoes on because for my notes, they've been telling me that they have been walking for 60 years. Well, not them personally, but they are members of the Townsville Bushwalking Club, which in 2020 celebrated its 60th birthday. What a milestone. It's the original and the premier bushwalkers in Townsville. And with the weather being so lovely at the moment, I thought it was a great opportunity to find out what they do and how you can be a part of the experience as part of our Do You Know Townsville segment, where we partner with the Community Information Centre each Thursday. Lewin Warnicky and Molly Ho from the group are uh, with us this morning. It's lovely to see you both. How are you? Yeah, Great. Good. Thanks for having us. Here. And how are the shoes? You, have, you, you haven't worn walking shoes in today? No, not today. I suddenly feel I should have because I did walk from work. And that would have been an excellent idea. <laughs> there we go. We could have a great <laughs> conversation about what is the perfect uh, shoe. The Bushwalking Club, I mean, it sounds quite obvious what you do, but I'm sure it's more than just simply a bushwalking group of people. Lewin, explain about your club and, and what happens. Oh, well, we have much history and we've uh, been for 62 years exploring the different land and uh, documenting that. So we know where all the good uh, locations are, like the terraces is a, a stunning place. Mm-hmm. Um, we organize easy to difficult bushwalking uh, events every weekend. And it's such a part of life in North Queensland, isn't it, Molly's? People love to get out there and just go for a walk, not necessarily the champion runners or sprinters out there, but just to explore nature. Townsville's such a, um, even just North Queensland, it's such a beautiful area for this kind of thing. And yeah, even it's so accessible. If you just want to go out for an hour and just stroll, it's there for you. If you want to be out for three days and not see anyone, you can totally do it up here. It's it's an amazing spot. And is that the idea of the clubs? Well, it's not for the, well, the, not for the hard yakker, but maybe for the more social walkers? Yeah, certainly. So, we're very big on if you want to get into walking, but you're not quite sure how, you're a bit, bit of trepidation, come and join the club. We've got such experienced leaders. But if you're also the kind of person that just wants to be, disappear with your, your favourite shoes, the GPS, mm-hmm. come join the club because we might like to join you. <laughs> Generally, with the members, are they in for team walking or is it an individual experience? Oh, it's a, it's a group thing. So we do um, quite small boutique kind of groups, so about 15 to 20 people, and we go to some of the most amazing spots in North Queensland, like, do join. <laughs> you know all the best spots. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. But, Lewin, uh, for uh, people when they get started, I mean, they might think it's pretty easy. Just put on the shoes, head out the door and find a place, and that's bushwalking. But uh, what do people need to know if they're going to really get the most out of the experience? Well, for the club, we send out an email yes, de- detailing what you need to bring uh, and what you can expect, like the grade of walk it is, how steep it is, uh, and just a ben- general outline of the route. Do we get in a situation where some people have told you in the past they've gone for a walk and didn't realise just what sort of terrain they would be encountering? They thought, okay, I know the car park, I know the start of the walk, but once you really get into it, the the land can change. Yeah, and some people uh, underestimate um, what the the rugged terrain can be like and overestimate their abilities. Uh, So it's it's quite surprising um, for some people who, who are city dwellers and Go ahead and get out in the bush. Yeah, well, well, I'm one of those, definitely. Uh, so, if I was to start, what are the basics? What must a, a good bushwalker always have? Well, a first aid kit would be ideal. Um, that includes, like, compression bandages for snake bites uh, and knowing how to use that. Uh, I always carry a PLB, a personal locator beacon, and so that works like an e for boating. You just press a button and hopefully you can get rescued that way. Mm-hmm. And what about things like uh, mozzie repellent, water, all of those sorts of things? I mean, do you need a pretty substantial backpack with you? I mean, you, no. Uh, for a day walk, you don't need that much. Uh, just the safety equipment, uh, water or, or a creek to refill from with sterilising it mm-hmm. uh, and knowledge of navigation. That's only general fitness. Mm. How far have you walked? What's, what's one of the longest ones you've done? Uh, in August last year, I did uh, an 11 day trip to Tasmania. And um, that wasn't a club walk, but though, but yeah, walking through the winter. Uh, yeah. Wow. So were you camping and things like that as well? Camping, yeah, off track through uh, the um, St. Lake, St. Clair Lake um, National Park down there. In winter? In winter, yeah. You're made of tough stuff, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Was it great? 
Yeah, it was it was excellent. <laughs> Molly, what about locally? What are some of your favourite walks? Oh, so um, the club is just about to do one of my personal favourites. It's about to walk out to Cape Cleveland, mm-hmm. Lighthouse. So this is a three-day trip that we go out and do. I want to say that if you're going to go out and some essential things, do take snacks. <laughs> snacks are always very important. Um, another one of the great local favourites up here is that we've got some of the most beautiful island walking. And so one of the fantastic, if you want to do multi-days, is something like Hinch and Brook, the Thorsbourne. Mm. Like, you can't get any better than that. But um, even just some of the short walks out here, like even just little half days, you're going to see some spectacular stuff. Mm. And how did you get into it? Were you a nature lover or you were a bird watcher or, or what, what got you, in, you know, into walking? Um, to the actual club itself was because... If you're going to walk, like I often do, like you go off by yourself, you've got to have a community behind you so that you know where you're going. You've got some experience, you've got people who've already been there. It's that kind of network and support system. Mm. And you must get um, a lot of good tips shared as well. People tell you about places they've been or things they've seen. Is that the case, Lewin? Yeah, it's a great great way to learn. Um, There's a lot of older people in the the club um, and I've learned from of their years of experience, just different t- trips, uh, tricks and tips. Mm. One question I've always wanted to ask, because I've seen people do this, even going to areas like Scotland where people, you know, do all the highlands and all of that. So the sticks, <laughs> I don't know if they've got an official name, but w- why are the sticks important and, and do you use them in bushwalking in North Queensland? I personally don't use sticks because I'm incredibly clumsy. <laughs> And if you're going to fall with a stick, it's just so much worse. But I think a lot of it is um, is a balancing support system. So if you're carrying a 20 kilo pack, like if you're going for a multi-day, those sticks are going to be incredibly important if you're trying to navigate something. Okay. All right. I think they look impressive. <laughs> and, and, you know, people can stay out of your way too if you swing them around. Uh, very, very good. Now, if people want to find out more, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Well, you can go to our website and there's an email address there, uh, info at townsellebushwalkingclub.com or you can contact us on our socials, Facebook and Instagram. So you're on all of those. You share yes. lots of snaps from what you see on we your do, walks yes. and things like that. Yeah. I bet you've got the best pictures in North Queensland. There's some stelling photographers with us. Congratulations to you both. It's lovely to uh, find out more. And uh, as we say, uh, you can also get in touch with the Community Information Centre to get more details on the Townsville Bushwalking Club. Uh, To Molly and Lewin, thank you so much for being with us. Happy walking. Thanks thanks for having us. We'll see you down the track. It's lovely stuff. This is ABC North Queensland. My name's Michael Clark. We're going to get drumming next.